The next step in this rain harvesting collection system is putting all the PVC piping, shutoff valves, and everything together. So we got everything laid out here that we need. We got the first line of defense, which is this gutter guard that's going to be on top of the gutters. We got our downspout, we got our PVC piping, we got our shutoff valves, and everything else that we need to put together this an entire rain catching system. But this is one of the most important things as well as another piece that I wanted to show you guys. This is the leaf eater. This is another, this is the second layer of defense on filtering out your rainwater. Essentially the downspout's coming off right there and then there's going to be a gap and then there's going to be a leaf eater and then the PVC pipe is coming down. When it comes down, it's going to come down through this four inch pipe and it's going to be called a first flush system. So essentially inside of this four inch pipe, there is going to be a ball and the first amount of water is gonna come down in here and raise this ball up to the T and it's going to collect all the dirty water essentially. And then after the ball is completely up here, it's going to divert all the clean water into my tanks. So these are the two most important parts of the rain catching system. You can create your own first flush system or you can buy this one, which is by Blue Mountain Company. It's called Rain Harvesting. Uh, same thing with these guys right here. This is just your leaf eater. This is gonna collect all your big debris. But that probably won't even happen because we're gonna have this metal gutter guard or you can have cheaper gutter guards, but we're going with this one. Why shut off valves? Well, you want to be able to control every situation. So the first one is going to be your main shutoff valve, which is going to be able, I'm going to be able to shut this off and none of these tanks are going to get any water. And then we're going to have another one in between them and another one on this side. So that way we can control each tank. And I will mention that I'm not sealing any of these PVC piping. It's going to be all nice and fitted because if there is any problems with this that I need to clean, I can hurry up and take it off and I don't want to seal anything. On each major end, what we're doing here, just to make it more filtered, we're putting pantyhose on the ends of these, of all the PVC piping and everything that you see here. And that also helps with mosquitoes. You do not want them laying eggs in your tanks. That's the worst case scenario. And there is a lot here because of the humidity. So that's pretty much everything you need to collect the rainwater. So on the next video, you're going to see how I put it all together and how I start collecting.